Today in the Daz store, we're looking at a new release from Ron Deviney, which is another set of awesome brushes. This one is Rain and Water Effects. Looks pretty cool. The problem is, is that among all of these brushes, they're not for the older format of Photoshop, which I use, which is the CS5 version. This is Photoshop CC 2019, which is Adobe subscription service, and a lot of people are sticking to their old brushes, or they're using uh, other software that can take Photoshop layers and brushes, so we're looking at his brush promo art. It looks really cool. We're gonna get some nice drops and streaks of rain. What we're gonna wanna do is convert these brushes into our older version of Photoshop so we can still use them today. But I'm looking at his promo artwork. These are some great pictures. You can see it could be used for both close-ups and very far landscapes. So it's a very versatile brush set. We're digging the way it looks. You see what you're gonna get. Very cool brushes, oh yeah. Those would be nice to use. So we've got brushes and it says what you get in it is the Photoshop brushes in CC 2019 format. And you also get overlays, which would be some very cool pictures to lay on top of your art, place behind it to become backdrops, everything else. But we're looking at the brushes. So we're gonna add them to our cart, plus one of his older sets. You could always pick up something good when they start to combine sales. And we proceed to the checkout and we get them inside our product library. So I find them in my product library, in my shop product library. I see the order number that I put in earlier and we get the brushes. The largest file is going to be his overlays. And we're gonna be concerned with dropping them both onto our machine, so we download. First I take the overlays and I download the zip file, and then now I'm going to go and grab his brushes. And we download those two file packs. When they're done, I'm gonna use 7-Zip, which is a free extractor, and I'm going to extract both sets of downloads, which is both his background, backdrops, overlays, and also his Photoshop brushes. So I extract them both. And when it's done, I've got the two folders with all the brushes in them and also the uh, Photoshop images files. Now I can navigate to them and I wanna basically install these brushes. I know where I keep most of my stuff so I can find it easy, but once you get into his folders, it becomes a matter of manually installing them. But first I look at the overlays you can see that these are images files and we're gonna take a look at them. And this is what we're gonna get. Very cool for backdrops. You can lay these on top of your artwork or place them behind as a backdrop. So now we're gonna to get to the brushes, which is what I wanna be able to have a precise manual control in Photoshop. I look at his brushes, I wanna drag that and drop it into my presets folder. I made a shortcut on my desktop because I'm always diving into this folder. You can see the location of where it is. And I'm going to drag and drop his brushes from the folder that I just downloaded them into, into this folder to install them. Once I answer yes, continue, it'll be good. It installs the brushes. Now you know this is going to fail because I'm using an older version of Photoshop, but I'm just gonna show you the uh, what you get. So I open up my image file and I'm gonna convert to his brushes. But it's good to see it fail to see how we're gonna get around this because when I did my Google searching, I put this error in and I never got any information on how to fix it until actually uh, very recently. So even though this seems to be a very common error that everyone comes across. So I select his brushes, I say okay, and then I get the error that these brushes obviously can't be used. I'm using a Photoshop CS version. These are Photoshop CC, so they're incompatible. What I need is a program that could convert the brushes, and that would be ABR Mate. The ABR is the Adobe brush format and the mate is a program that can convert. And it says right in its write-up, the purpose of the program and what it does. It gives us the ability to convert files into an older format. 
Um, it has some other cool things it could do too. It could also take the brushes and export them as PNGs. If you just wanna get the brushes as images alone, that's also a very cool thing that you can do. But that's what this does. So that's a free piece of software, ABR Mate. Pretty simple to use. I need to get rid of his brush out of the folder and I'll remember to restart Photoshop so it resets my brushes. But for now, I'm gonna navigate and open those set of brushes. There they are, 2019, and I open them up. And as the program is populating its field, I can see that it's opening all the individual brushes. I can do one brush at a time or I could do the entire set. I wanna do the entire set of brushes. So I'm gonna select all the open brushes, which is the entire uh, variety of brushes in this one pack, and I'm gonna take those and convert them. Then it's gonna ask me about the name of the file, and what I wanna do is pick a name that I'll be able to find. I don't wanna change its sorting order among the brushes, since Ron's brushes begin usually with the Ron, sometimes it has the exclamation point, but I'm pretty happy where it lays out. So instead of putting a prefix, I want to change the suffix of it, basically, and put my own converted behind it. And I want to write converted so that I know these are the converted brushes that will work inside of my older version of Adobe Photoshop. So once I save it out, it saves it to the same folder that the original brushes were in. And you can see them right underneath. Non-destructive, I have my new version of brushes, and that's the one I'm going to now drag and drop into my Photoshop brush folder. Same thing, I hit continue to install and the brushes now appear there as my converted version. I restart Photoshop and bring in a random image to add some paint drops to or some sort of paint effect. And uh, I can now select his brushes. I find it in the same place it was before. I find his brushes and this time it works. So I can see that it's been a success. I have converted his brushes and I'm just gonna pick some brushes and play around. Um, I never designed this, pi this picture with any rain in it, so we're just gonna play around and come up with something and see what it does to my existing artwork. And I can say I have my drops. I could change the size and the scale of the drops, but for now, we're just gonna zip along and we're gonna grab some brushes and add a little bit of rain effects to the picture. Do that here, make another layer. There we go. Add some big drops, just, you know, find a brush that looks like it's gonna add on to the artwork. You can see we get some ripples. This is a very nice variety of brushes. Puddles near the bottom, overlays. So this is nice. Maybe we could do like a little showery sort of, you know, since the character is the main thing, we wanna concentrate the brushes over the figure. So we give that a little bit, and then maybe now something more extreme, because this is very subtle from a distance, so maybe we'll give something bigger, and we'll just throw some uh, random big drops, even bigger drops, just to give it some sort of uh, extra oomph at the end for my post work. If you've seen my tutorial, you know I do a lot of post work with a lot of runs, brushes and brushwork period. You know, I think it really enhances the artwork. A lot of this can be done in uh, Daz itself. They are rain uh, effects in Daz from a variety of different vendors. So I also use that if I know I'm gonna put rain, sometimes I combine it and I'll do the puddles inside of Daz, inside the render engine. Sometimes I don't know to the end. And since it's rainy, I just shifted everything to blue. The, change the uh, the color balance over to much bluer. Since it's rain, I just would rather have it be not so bright. Just tone it down just a little bit. And uh, that's it. That's how we can convert Ron's brushes from, or anyone's brushes from a very modern CC standard to an older CS all the way back to Photoshop 7. This is Drew Spence from the Dynamic Universe. Thank you for watching.